done Britton. Charlie Jones with a good return. Here comes a blitz on first down. And the pass rush gets home for the Badgers. Tyler Goodson on second and long. Gets about five. That'll bring up third down and seven. Wisconsin defense number one of the Big Ten and number four in America on third down. Petrus, nice one to the sideline, incomplete. Intended for the tight end, Sam Laporta. Great job by the Badger defense to force a three and out after giving up a big kickoff return to start. Hicks, number three in the Big Ten, averages well over one pass broken up per game. As Dean Ingram is deep to receive the kick from Torrey Taylor. Taylor with an end over end kick. Ingram is going to let it bounce. Takes a sideways hop and gets to the goal line and into the end zone. A break for the Badgers as they will get it out at their 20 yard line. Two tight ends. It's Chez Malusi, the Clemson transfer, spins ahead for three. Walked down by Seth Benson. Malusi again. For a couple more. So now Wisconsin faced with an early third down. Third and five. He looks towards that bunch set. And on the slant, he's got a first down to Danny Davis. Lucy plows ahead for five. Right at the first down line to gain. Now the 238-pound true freshman Braylon Allen is in there as the tailback in the offset eye. His first attempt, and he's got the first down. Malusi back in to take the toss, and he picks up about a half yard. And now a false start is going to be called against Wisconsin, so this will back them up to second and 15. False start, offense, number 74. Five-yard penalty, second down. the blitz a quick out to the sideline Danny Davis makes the catch well timed throw by Graham Mertz third down. tight window throw looking for Davis to flip field position as Andy Vunovic. <laughs> Finds his check down, Tyrone Tracy. And he's out to about the 16-yard line. Third down and three to try to keep this drive alive. And that ball thrown just a bit by Petrus behind Tyler Goodson. He couldn't reach back and make the catch. Taylor. Now they want Tory Taylor to not end up in poor field position for Iowa. Line drive kick from last year's Big Ten punter of the year. Returnable for Dean Ingram. But he's brought down at the 35 yard line. Here's Graham Mertz 
Jones on a rollout, flips it in the right flat, and John Chanel is able to pick up seven to the 42 yard line. Malusi here, and Malusi looks like he will be able to dive for a Wisconsin first down as Jack Kerner made the stop. Floats one to the sideline. Climbing the ladder is Danny Davis. And he pulls it in inside the 40. As Mertz rolls out and on the rollout, swings it to the sideline to Jack Dunn, picks up three. Just to throw again, four man rush over the middle. He's got Jim Ray Deacon. Into the red zone. Down close to the 13 yard line. It's a first down for the Wisconsin Badgers. Gain of 22. Watch his eyes, Bob. Stares to the left to just move coverage. He gets Kerner to drift over there, and that allows that in route to come in. Malusi cuts it back inside the 10, down to the 8. It's Braylon Allen in a tailback. Straight ahead. Pyle moves down inside the five. Play action. Mertz floats it inside wide up to Jake Ferguson for the touchdown. Same time it didn't reset for a second. Five yard penalty, repeat first down. That slant broken up again. Boy, they keep testing Fayon Hicks. And they'll run it here with Goodson. He's got nowhere to go. Back inside the 10, he's brought down. Inside the seven, close to the six yard line. Tunnel screen. And that just buys about five yards for the punt group. Taylor gets it away. And Ingram lets it bounce. And it takes a sideways hop. This block. Ferguson come in, chop off. Thank goodness he's okay, but how about the block by Ferguson sifting back underneath him? Is either Ferguson or John Chanel? Allen again. yard line. Chez Malusi gets a chance. It looked like he lost his footing as he tried to cut it back at the 10 yard line. Here at Camp Randall, a game that has been dominated by Wisconsin so far. Third down. They'll hand it off to Allen. It's 10 for 11, 
since this one from only 29 yards out. And it is 10 nothing Wisconsin. And Williams on the return. He has stood up at about the 21 yard line. Sack to start off the drive for Iowa. Goodson makes a man miss in the backfield, but again, has nowhere to go. The pursuit of those red jerseys everywhere. Only a three man rush. Petrus lost the football. It was stripped away, and who's got it? It looks like the Badgers do. So it's first and goal. Here's Malusi on the toss to the five. Moves the pile, gets a push from his teammates. The play not dead yet. Now they blow it dead just inside the three. Hurts looks left. It's caught. Inside the one yard line, but turned back. He gave Ferguson a chance and he was stopped. They'll hand it to the big body and fresh it out. He'll leap. He'll try again. I think they may have gotten him stopped. It's a goal line stand for Iowa. They keep Chanel out of the end zone. What a job by the Hawkeye defense. The officials mark the ball short. And they say Iowa gets the stop. Now replay could certainly take another look to see if there is something to suggest that Chanel broke the plane. Hold the point, Evan. Chanel jumps over the top. I don't think he got in. How can the Iowa offense get anything going? They just want some breathing room here. And they will quarterback sneak it forward with Spencer Petrus. has the lead here as Tyler Goodson picks up two. This is the largest deficit that Iowa has faced this season. Significant for their football team. They've got to get something going on offense that's easy for them. Slant through the hands of Keegan Johnson. Jim Leonard brings a blitz. Petrus steps up in the pocket. He's going to try and run for it. He won't get there. Brought down four yards shy of a first down. Leo Chanel tripped him up, and it's another three and out for Iowa. But Iowa has got to get something. We're in a, a situation where they're in second and three. They're living in the second and ten, second and eight world. It's so difficult for their offense. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Play action here. And he is able to find a first down hookup. A little turnaround route to Danny Davis for 13. Give one to Malusi here. Scott 
out the four. And here's a play action fake. Floating one to the sideline, and this time airmailing Jake Ferguson. Here comes a blitz on third down. He's got one on one outside on time again to Jake Ferguson. This time on a rollout. And that one he throws away. Tipped at the line. So now it will be third down and ten, and a chance for Iowa to get a stop with four and a half minutes to go in the first half of a three possession game. And a four man rush. Hurts into traffic. Incomplete. Looks like DK running the middle was the intended receiver, but it was thrown well behind him, so there is. The third down stop by when needed. And Bob, this is why you need an outbreaking route because what you have is safety help over the top and underneath trail coverage on inbreakers. You see Harris is there as that inbreaker's coming by prior. That's exactly where that defense wants that football to be thrown. You've got to call outbreaking routes from that inside leverage man to man coverage. Novich, good hang time, forcing Max Cooper into a fair catch. It's loose. There's a scramble for it. And Wisconsin thinks they have it. Cooper looked distracted by the Wisconsin gunner. And maybe just barely took his eyes off the football. It bounced right off the chest plate. And who's got it? It is Wisconsin football. Malusi. He gets a couple up the middle. Matt Hankins coming down from his cornerback spot. Wrapped him up around the waist. Malusi. It'll be another third down. Hurts. Back of the end zone. And DK got held up. It's incomplete. It's another stop for the Iowa defense. Dane Belton was back there in coverage. It's the same coverage that they keep seeing. This is the right read by Graham Mertz, but the ball's got to be thrown on the back shoulder. There's a stick route, safety drives it. Just throw it on the back shoulder. Belton is inside. You don't have to throw a good throw there by Graham Mertz. That's one of those, hey, it looks ugly. You hold your receiver up, and you give him the chance to react to the football, turn back, and high point the ball. You don't try to bend him into the middle of the field there. Just a little bit of a better throw by Graham Mertz field-wise. No gain on first down for an offense that has yet to pick up a first down. And we are down to two and a half minutes to go before halftime. Two unblocked defenders. Th that is not like Iowa. To have a linebacker running free with nobody going to him in their run game. That's why you know, some of the youth, you know, Kyler shot their senior left guard, missed because of injury. Ince missed because he's hurt time. They've started a true freshman, Connor Colby, at right guard. It starts to show itself too often for this run game. Petrus with the rush coming. Able to get a little down and out to Sam Laporta for five, so it's third down and five. Hawkeyes have all three timeouts. Still plenty of time on the clock to score before halftime, but they need a third down conversion here. 
Petras, traffic at his feet, squeezes one in again to Laporta, and there is the first first down of the game for Iowa. What a catch by Sam Laporta. Over the middle, Petras, one, two, three, it's not there. Fits a football into a tight window, and he makes a remarkable contested catch. And now they'll play with some tempo. Floating ball, incomplete. He was looking for Keegan Johnson crossing in the middle and some contact that forced a fluttery throw from Petrus. That was dangerous. Stops the clock though with a minute and 15 to go before halftime and allows the Hawkeyes to huddle up. Yeah, see, right now you're anticipating if you're Iowa, we're going to get some kind of a pressure, but they're still going to keep their numbers in coverage. Petrus has got to do a good job of getting the ball in his hand quickly. If number one is there, you got to get the ball up and allow that guy to make some yards after the catch. It's a four-man rush. He trips up the seam through the hands of Nico Regani, incomplete. The pocket collapses again. Down goes Petrus. Only a four-man rush, but it's still got home. And Petrus with a limp to the sideline after the fourth Wisconsin sack here in the first half. You know, Bob, as a six-foot-five quarterback, something you got to be aware of is how deep you get in the pocket. This ball gets snapped from about the 42-yard line, and that's Getz. Petrus, you got to do a better job of climbing the pocket. You're almost 10 yards deep. Climb, climb, climb. Those tackles against good pass rushers are going to try and run past you. Now a minute five for Wisconsin as they're about to get the ball back after a punt is launched by Taylor. And this will be all the way down inside the five yard line down by the Hawkeyes at about the two. It looks like it may have initially been touched at the four. But that is a big play on special teams for Iowa. John Chanel up the middle out to the 10 yard line and now Iowa's going to use timeouts charge timeout Iowa another handoff to Chanel he's got the first down and that will end the half for Wisconsin whether Iowa uses their timeouts now or not and I think Kirk Ferentz knows it. Once they got the first down and got inside of 45 seconds to go on the half, regardless of Iowa having timeouts yeah. two remaining now, Wisconsin can get the game to halftime with this 20 to nothing lead. And oddly enough, if you're Kirk Ferentz, your message to your football team at halftime is our defense is keeping us in this football game. If we stop hurting ourselves and just focus on one play at a time, we try and claw back into this game. And Mike Thursa, if you're Paul Christ, you're saying we're playing really good. Complimentary football. False start, offense, number 74, five yard penalty, first down. I'm not even sure where they are on the field right now, why Wisconsin would run a play. Why put the ball in harm's way? If your Graham Mertz, just take a knee. There's 11 seconds to go in the half. Maybe trying to get you. That penalty includes a 10 second runoff. Iowa has chosen to take that 10 second runoff, so please reset the game clock to one second. The clock will start on my ready for play. There you go. Iowa wants the game to go to halftime as why much you, as Wisconsin does. Why do you hate fullbacks? They're just trying to get Chanel some touches, man. I shouldn't hate fullbacks. It's probably the position type I most resemble. You're right. Physically. They are now without Jim Ray DK as he came up limping after the kickoff return. There's Malusi to start off the second half, patiently looking for some room, waiting for the hole to open up, and he only picks up two. Jack Campbell, tied third for tackles so far this season in the Big Ten, came up to make the stop.
Good communication by Graham Mertz. He sees people up in the line of scrimmage. Get to the right play. He'll drop back. He'll throw into a tight window intended for Danny Davis. And it's incomplete. So that time it seemed like Mertz thought the pressure was coming. And those two linebackers dropped out and cl closed the window. Yeah, it's almost a little bit Wisconsin-ish. You know, those linebackers were up in there. He communicates. He thinks he's going to get man coverage. And they drop out underneath. That is one of those moments with your Paul Christ, you're going, I really need you to reset and try to find a different completion. So you're smart with your play call. Talked about it in the first half. Iowa's playing really press quarters match coverage. You've got to get an outbreaking route if you're Wisconsin. Third down and eight. There's that walk around defense from the Hawkeyes trying to disguise where the rush is coming from. That's knocked away. Tried to squeeze one into Jake Ferguson. So there's the three and out, Dan, that you talked about. Maybe a chance, again, given by the defense to the offense if Iowa can get something going. Yeah, this is a great play by Jack Kerner, one of their best players. Watch him with vision on Ferguson. 28 sitting there right there. He's just going to stop right by Ferguson. Drive on the football and make that pass break up. They're really bracketing him there with Jacobs and Kerner. And it's a good ball by Graham Mertz. It's just a great play by Kerner to get in there for the PBU. Line drive from Vunavich. Returnable for Charlie Jones. And great field position. Motion Laporta. And it's a straight ahead handoff to Tyler Goodson. Tyler Goodson, the black area. He picks up three. Gets forward progress, it looks like, to the 48 of Wisconsin. Another tackle for Keanu Benton. Third down, Petrus under pressure, bounces off a sack, heaves it to the sideline, and just throws it away. Noah Burks came through, just didn't wrap up Spencer Petrus. Another missed opportunity as well for the Iowa offense. And as this takes a Wisconsin roll from inside the 10 out across the 10. Malusi submarines for about a yard. Noah Shannon made the stop. Lucy is brought down near the line of scrimmage by Jamari Harris, maybe a yard. So now it's third down and long. And again, this is where, as a quarterback, managing this football game is a huge deal. The only way that Iowa has a chance to get back in this football game is you, Graham Mertz, on a third and long situation make a bad decision. This is where you show growth and trust that your job is to make sure you're doing the best that you can for your team to win the game. No carelessness with the ball. Four-man rush. He tried to force one in, looking for Danny Davis. Matt Hankins read it, jumped the route, knocked it away, and it's a three and out for Wisconsin. And it's the same route they ran the first third down of the game. Man coverage, watch Hankins, Danny Davis outside release. Hankins drives on the ball, and it's that bang, bang play. Merch is trying to fit that ball in there versus man coverage. A little bit fortune there for this Wisconsin offense that Hankins doesn't get there just a fraction of a second sooner for the pick. Novich gets away a wobbly spiral. Charlie Jones gets outside. Has some room to the 50-yard line. Into plus territory. Out of bounds at the Wisconsin 40. Play action for Petrus under pressure. And has to try and dirt it looking for a screen pass as Chanel came right up the middle and was all over Petrus. Well, there's a crease for Tyler Goodson. 
And a first down on the ground as Goodson will just about double his yardage for the game with that 11 yard carry. It's Goodson stretching right. Cuts it back to the left for a yard. And there was Chanel with another tackle. Petrus, play action. Rifles one on the slant, incomplete looking for Jones. Flag out. They keep on testing Fayon Hicks. And that time, finally, Iowa may get yards out of it. Defense number one. Goal, the ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. And he talked about it. They motion Charlie Jones over, and they're trying another slant on Fayon Hicks. And I think he's just going to grab that right arm. Yep. That right arm just enough. When that official from that back angle sees that right arm on that hip, he's going to throw that flag. It's a 13 yard penalty that makes it first and 10 in the red zone at the 14. Indirect. He get Johnson inside the 10. Drives his way down inside the five. Goodson dots the eye. Paul Chris calls a timeout from the sideline. First and goal for Iowa trying to get back in the game. And they'll hand it to the fullback. And trying to dive is Monte Padaba. Did he get in? No signal from the officials. And it looks like they will say he is short at about the one foot line. It's going to be second down and goal. Petrus, quarterback sneak. Potabon gets him a push. Does he get in? Again, no signal from the officials. There it is. That's an Iowa touchdown. Finally, the Hawkeyes use the short field to crack the ice. They get into the end zone, and they are a point after away from making this a two score game. Caleb Shudak knocks it through. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage for the playbook on home loans, Rocket Can. This kick will sail down in the end zone. Second down and nine. Five man rush. Mertz. Quick slam. Incomplete. Danny Davis, the intended receiver. Kerner was there again. Now it will be third down and nine. And all of a sudden, a little bounce on that Iowa sideline as well. They are sensing momentum is shifting, and the crowd reacting too. And it's the same third down defense I would expect that they've been running all game. Press cover four. It's really like two men. You've got to create a matchup on the middle, in the middle of the field, on the inside. That is an outbreaking route. Mertz floats one to the sideline. Just too far for Ferguson. That's nine straight incompletions for Graham Mertz. It is a three and out for Wisconsin and off the touchdown. Iowa about to get the ball back. It's the right type of throw to Ferguson. But what happens is when you get a guy that can play underneath and a safety that can play over the top, it demands the perfect throw. Jacobs underneath, Kerner over the top, and Mertz needs to make that perfect throw. Now he should, but it's that challenging style by Iowa coverage wise that demands it. Unavich, end over end kick. Charlie Jones brought down almost immediately. Well, he's going to hand one off here to Goodson. He's got a cutback lane. The official goes flying as well as he picks up nine on first down. This is what it means to press the hole. Watch Goodson outside zone to the left. Allow the offensive line to collapse. Don't cut too early. And then the backside 
of that blocking scheme. Ooh, tough break for the official. Pop up. The back, the back side of that, but that's what it means as a back. You want to press the hole, push to the line of scrimmage. Don't cut too early to allow the back side of that run game to be impactful. Florida in motion. Another handoff to Goodson. Tries to stop start in the backfield. And Leo Chanel is there to make the stop. Tackle for loss, third down and four. Four-man rush. Petrus bullets one to the sideline, and he's got a first down hookup to Charlie Jones. And you go, you get that pressure where the inside linebacker fires. Easy stop route to the perimeter. Great job by the offensive line, figuring out who balled out on time to Charlie Jones. That's the thing, when you play a defense that is like this, you gotta play on time. That ball's gotta get out, because the longer you hold it, the more the rush is gonna get home. Goodson tripped up. Welcome back to the game, Jack Sanborn. A loss of one. Although we have another Badger now down. Timeout for that injured like defensive Keanu player. Benton. That's an impact nose tackle. Dan, you said this week that the Benton Linderbaum matchup you thought would determine the game. Absolutely, because Linderbaum's an All-American, and Benton has become such this impactful force at the middle of this defense. He's going to be at the three technique right here, and he's going to get a backside cutoff down roll block. Oh. Not such a big part of this zone run game scheme wise is that roll by the offensive lineman into the legs of those defensive linemen. Slant. That time it's there in front of Fayot Hicks. There it is, a handoff to the fullback, Monty Potabon, and he's a yard short. You have to go for this, I would think, if you're Iowa. Absolutely. Plus territory Absolutely. on fourth and one. Is Petrus changing the play? I think he's trying to get the ball run on the perimeter, yeah. Play clock down to five. They might have to call a timeout. That's that great chess match. Charge time right? All those bodies yeah, inside. You They're want first to teach I'm so sure, to run the ball there if you're Iowa. He sees all that traffic. And now he's trying to change the play, and a timeout has to be called. And the challenge for the offense is you've got all those bodies on the inside, so you don't have enough meat, essentially, just big body to push it. There's the pot of bomb handoff. He gets an extra push, and it looks like he might have it. Wisconsin thinks they've got him stopped, and the official from the far side running in does not look like he is giving Iowa a favorable spot. Wisconsin maybe did get the stop on Padaba. And he is short. So Wisconsin takes over on downs. What a job by their defense. Here's Malusi. To midfield, carrying a tackler. Braylon Allen. Hurts on third down, over the middle. A little stop route for Danny Davis, right along the hash marks. down to about the 25-yard line for a gain of a yard. Allen spinning down inside the 15. Looks like this could be a relatively serious injury to Clay Cundiff. 
as the doctors are racing out there. How does this impact a team as well Dan yeah. when you see a guy that you spend all the time in the meeting room with all the time bonding his teammates and in the middle of all of the emotion of trying to play a game in front of a big hometown crowd a rivalry game playing for a rivalry trophy yep. and then one of your teammates has something like this happen to him. Yeah one of the unique things about college sports certainly college football is their family. The entire Wisconsin sideline yeah. is now out about 10 yards out onto the field and a good portion of them are coming over to see Clay Cundiff. And a big thumbs up from Clay Cundiff yeah. to the crowd here at Camp Randall. Allen. Nowhere to go up the middle. If a touchdown is the result of this drive for Wisconsin, that would just about put the game on ice. Danny Davis, one on one. Here comes the blitz. Here's the slap. End zone. Incomplete for Davis. Flagging. Pass interference. Defense number eight. And on to Chanel. And the fullback looking for the goal line. Stopped a half yard short. Quarterback sneak. Mertz looking for his second rushing touchdown of the day. There's the pitch and the from Mertz. And no doubt about it on third down. He is in for the touchdown. That's incredible. It's a touchdown for the Badgers. Turnable kick, and they wanted the trick play. It is Petrus. There's the slant, and Keegan Johnson has a first down. That's an important player, though, for this Wisconsin defense. Colin Wilder. That was a guy that you singled out. We were talking to Jim Leonard about how multiple he yeah. can make their defense just, just he does so much for them controls the back end great information giver and getter he's a big part for their defense he at one point was at Houston decided to come to Wisconsin as a walk on hopefully he gets up looks like he will Petrus up the scene that time Regani is there Petrus under pressure tries to spin out of the sack forces it to the sideline. They're going to rule him down. Second and long. Petrus floats one incomplete. They'll set up the screen Tyler Goodson. Inside the 40 down to the 39 yard line. Only a four man rush. Petrus is going to throw a lob to the sideline that has no prayer. And as the tailback. And they'll give it again to the true freshman. He ends up picking up two. That gives him 90 yards rushing on the day as Jack Campbell made the stop. Second down and eight after the injury timeout. Chanel was able to come off the field on his own. And Braylon Allen tiptoes the sideline. This is Chess Malusi. Blitz and Malusi pays the price. He only picks up a yard.
Alex Padilla now in a quarterback against a defense that has been dominant today. Nico Regani is walloped by Noah Burks after he picks up six yards. The backup quarterback, the sophomore from Greenwood Village, Colorado, appeared in a couple of games last year. And now he ends up underneath Noah Burks as he tries to scramble. Here comes the rush. And there's sack number five. Noah Burks racks up another for the Badgers. Malusi for a couple of yards. Will you sit next to Rex Ryan on the get up set? A lot. Yeah. And that is the defensive mind that Jim Leonard, for the most part during his career, played for, kind of grew up under. And you can see a lot of that Rex, Mike Pettin, yeah. Rob Ryan DNA, right, in, in how the, this defense schematically runs. Yeah, I mean, and I talked about it a little bit early on. They speed you up. For a quarterback, they speed you up. They make you play in a hurry, but they don't give you a fast or a quick answer because of those droppers. And then when it is in coverage, a lot of times a quarterback is taught find your safeties. Is there two safety or is there one safety? And they often make it look like there's both at the same time, so to speak. There's one safety, but there's two safeties, coach. And it makes it so cloudy coverage or so muddy coverage-wise. And that forces quarterbacks to play slow. They play with a disconnect to what their eyes kind of tell them. And again, that allows that rush to get home as well. So it will be one last punt here for the Badgers. Lunovic with a line drive to Charlie Jones. I think the Gavin Williams. Gavin Williams. Gavin Williams getting a chance to tote the rock. And now Padilla to throw. And this has been the theme all day. But he is able to outlet the Sam Laporta. Nice creativity for Alex Padilla. As the one time one of those quarterbacks for Iowa can escape the rush, he's able to find Laporta for 28. That's a great play by Padilla right there. Invading the rush, moving to his left. That's a difficult throw going full speed to the left and really kind of thrown back across where you came from. Padilla. Dabo Sweeney's offense. They just have not seemed to at any point find answers. And you've talked about that scheme as being a struggle when they don't have a role. Yeah, I mean, we hit it early on in the season. And I kind of felt that help Trevor Lawrence back last year. And it's kind of came into fruition this year with the struggles up front, the lack of skill position players, the lack of creativity on offense, the quarterback not playing to a high enough level. Keegan Johnson on what looked like a perfect strike thrown by Padilla. Coming back the same way as Padilla, this time behind Johnson. And it's incomplete. And one final takeaway on downs for a Wisconsin defense. 
first time in the last 10 meetings against Iowa, Wisconsin was unranked. And yet they were a very slight home favorite and played like a top 10 team today for Paul Christ as they are going to win the Heartland Trophy. Off to a terrible start, losing three of their first four. But this will be four consecutive wins for the Badgers and a team that now controls their own destiny in the Big Ten West.